We want to talk a little bit now about putting C onto a Linux installation. If you've been through a Linux installation, you probably already have a good uh, C compiler, GCC, installed. If you have not gone through uh, a full installation, rebuilding your own kernel, that sort of thing, and you're just looking to learn C, then let's take a look around at uh, what I have installed is Ubuntu, U-B-U-N-T-U. -U. It's another uh, distribution or distro of Linux. So we'll switch over to that and I'll show you what you can do inside Linux to confirm or at least upgrade uh, the C compiler that you have there. Let's switch over to my workstation and this is my desktop inside uh, Linux inside Windows. What we do is click on System, Administration, and then come down here to what's called the Synaptic Package Manager. Now your particular Linux will have, need a password there, will have a package manager that comes with your distribution. So uh, Red Hat would look uh, different than uh, SUSE or uh, Ubuntu that we're looking at here. All we have to do in the package manager is search and we'll search for the GNU C compiler, uh, GCC. We'll click search and it should just take a second to search through the libraries. And there's the CPP. That's the C++ compiler right there. Now, all we have to do is look at the installed version and the latest version. And they match, so we're up to date. We have everything that we need to do C++, or in our case, just simple C programming. So I don't even have to check mark this or do anything with it. If I did check mark this and click Apply, I could install or upgrade the GNU C compiler or the C++ compiler and get a fresh version. You could close the package manager and that's all there is to it. If you want to read more about the C compiler, the GNU CPP, simply go to gcc.gnu.org. All kinds of documentation on uh, installation of the compiler, various platforms that it can be run on, how to test it, uh, lots of documentation so that you can go uh, much farther than we're going to take you uh, beyond just the C language. You can go into all, all the linking and other kinds of things that we'll see a little bit of later on in the uh, in the tutorial here, but uh, right now we just want to make sure that that compiler is out there and running and relatively up to date. We're not going to use an integrated development environment, an IDE or anything like that, even on Linux. Uh, we're just going to use the simple uh, command line or term session, terminal session, just like that, so that uh, it's nice and simple and we only uh, have to worry about the language itself and not some IDE getting in the way. So onward, we will uh, go and learn how to test our compiler and make sure that it's actually out there.